Yo, what's going on, everybody, man? This your boy, Marcus Elbow. Welcome to Elbow Media Studios. And if this is your first time, go ahead and hit that sub button. Go, go ahead and hit it right now. Because guess what? Over in this channel, all we do over here is keep it crunk, man. Let's get it. Elbow Media Studio. All right, y'all. So <clears throat> today we're back with another Akai Force tutorial. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to put your your already ready beat that you've already hooked up in the matrix. I'm going to teach you how to put that inside of the arranger. Now, this is going to be a really basic tutorial on how to just get your tracks in, how to start laying them in the arranger. But I got a lot of stuff planned for the future as far as vocals and some other things and how to you know, punch in, punch out. Man, trust me, the Akai Arranger is ready to go. It is almost DAW ready. You almost can call it a DAW. I'm telling y'all. So let's go ahead on and look at how to get that done. Okay, so see, the first thing we're going to do, <clears throat> as you can tell, I've re already got my beat ready. already got my lanes already broken down. I kind of got a basic idea of where my intro is, where my verse is, and, and where my hook is, and, and everything like that. So... I'm going to go ahead on and start arranging this right now since I'm already ready to go. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the menu button. And once we hit the menu button, just so that you could see what's going on, once we hit the menu button, uh, you'll see right here, you got the arranger here. And we're going to talk about the, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about the the browse and the menu button in the future tutorial. I promise you that. That way you'll be, you'll be pretty you know what I'm saying? Savvy about how to move around inside of, you know, the menu button. But we're going to go ahead and hit the arrange right here, as you can see right there. And then once you hit that, you will see that you are now in the arrange section of the Akai Force. And this is what everybody was so amped up about whenever they brought this to the front forefront. You can now arrange your tracks and everybody is talking about getting this same feature in the NPC. I don't think it's going to happen, but that's what people are talking about. But let's get to it. Let's kind of take a look and see what's going on. As you can see right here, these are your actual tracks here. And these here is where you can actually launch your uh, your lanes if you wanted to launch your lanes you can actually do that straight from here or you can actually use the actual launch buttons to actually do it there's a couple of things that you need to do right off the muscle whenever you're getting ready to record inside of the arranger first of all in order for you to record in the arranger you have to hold down the record button and then you have to hit you know to the arranger now you're getting ready to record into the arranger, okay? And also, you want to go ahead and turn time correct off. And if you look right here, you can see right here, time correct is right there. You want to go ahead on and make sure you turn that off. Mine is off at the moment, but you want to make sure you turn it off. That way, whatever you kind of got going on that doesn't end up changing based on whatever the time correct, you know, is is set for inside of the arranger okay so now that you have set that up you're pretty much ready to go it is just that easy once you go ahead and hit record you're ready to go or you don't even have to hit record all you have to do is hit launch let's hit launch and as you can see here we're already starting to record tracks right now little bit different right all right I'm gonna go ahead and break it down Just that easy, guys. Now, if you want to, you can do some of your breakdowns right now if you wanted to. Just by hitting some of your empty pads. 
you know, if you want to kind of do a breakdown or whatever. That wasn't the best breakdown, but you know what I mean. All right, we about to get ready to start. Go ahead and break it all the way down, finish it out. I'm going to bring it back to the intro. Then all we got to do is push stop. Man, just that easy. As you can see right here, let me go ahead and make sure you can see that. As you can see right here, that is ready to go. I mean, we are really pretty much ready to rock and roll. Now, in order for you to be able to play back, you know, what you just arranged, all you have to do is hit this back to arrange button right here. And now you're going to play, as you can see, the, the actual clips, uh, launch clips disappeared, push play, and now you're playing back from the arranger. Man, that, that is a beautiful thing right there. I came from So, yeah, guys, it is just that easy for you to start actually working in the arranger. Now, that was just the basics of actually going in and and putting in your 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 launch launching your clips inside the arranger and having it arranged there's so many different things that you could do that i want to show you guys but let me just kind of go over a few things right now let's just say you know that breakdown i did i didn't like i can actually go up here and hit the edit and if i hit the edit you can see here i can go into erase clear trim transpose delete bars insert bars half length double it is so many different things that you could do if I wanted to get rid of that. All I have to do is push clear, hit yes. Once I do that, as you can see, it is clear. I think I can hit undo and it'll come back. Now we're back. If you want to edit some of your different areas, you could loop. Let's just say uh, this little breakdown area I had right here. Uh, let me go find my loop right there. I can bring my loop over, as you can see here. This is my loop, and the reason why it's not lit up because I don't have them push loop right here. If I go in and hit loop right there, I can go in here and actually work with that because if I just push play, it's going to start from right there. I can even move it up a little bit. Push play again. And I can start adding stuff right there if I wanted to. You know what I mean? But I could work just like I would in a regular DAW right in that section. You know what I mean? So I could work right in that section if I wanted to to kind of clean that up a little bit. I can even maybe launch a clip just to clean that up if I wanted to. That's what's so dope about that is what's so dope about working. It's just like working in a DAW. And if you just really want to get down to the nitty gritty, let's just say if I want to move this over about right there, let's just move this over a little bit more. Right, push play. Turn it down just a little bit. I can go in here and I can actually work with those if I just hit my little bottom button here. I can get inside of there and work with some different things if I want to go into grid mode. I can go into clip mode, list mode. I mean, it is so many different things that you could do inside of the arranger that is just so freaking amazing. As you can see here, if I select one of my tracks, I can actually go in and edit those tracks very easily with my controls right here. 
All right, so if you want to erase some things, you can actually use your buttons here to nudge around. That way you can really get up in there and see what you're doing. And then you can start going in. But, you know, you can get it done. Yeah, <clears throat> you can get it done. Then you can actually go in if you want. And then you can start drawing some other stuff in there if you want to do some step record or some stuff like that. But what I just wanted to show you guys was that you can go in and do a lot uh, with the arranger. We're going to go into more detail with the arranger. I just wanted to show you a quick way to get in, start launching clips, get your clips ready, and then you can start manipulating your, your arranger and then start working in it like a, a, a regular doll if you wanted to, okay? All right. So, yeah, we are ready to go, man. Let's turn that loop, loop off. I'm going to play from the beginning. And we are ready to go, man. Listen, man. This is your boy Marcus Elbow, man. This has been Elbow Media Studios. Y'all already know how I get down. Y'all know what it is. I got mad love for y'all. Listen, man. Don't forget to hit that subscription button. Don't forget to get down in the comments. Come talk to me. Let me know what y'all thinking about the Akai Force. Uh, I know I kind of, this kind of was a quick one, but I just wanted to show you how to really get started on putting stuff in and show you how to really, you know, quickly you know arrange a track very fast very fast but if you just dig into it it's a lot more you can do and we're going to talk about all of that all right all right man it's your boy marcus elbow this has been elbow media studios well all we do over here is keep it crunk i'm gonna holler at y'all later all right all right man one peace